Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella from Minerva and today I'll be talking to you about the 10 most popular Deer and Doe patterns on the Minerva website. Deer and Doe is a French pattern company which designs stylish, modern and easy to wear clothes. Their sizing runs from 34 to 46 as a printed pattern and up to 52 as a PDF. Deer and Doe has been making patterns since 2012 and have made many beautiful patterns. Coming in at number 10 is the Chardon skirt. The Chardon skirt is a high-waisted skirt with inverted box pleats, pockets and a zip at the back. Version A is plain with belt loops and version B has a hem band. It is rated 2 out of 5 for beginner sewers. You need a woven fabric with a bit of structure and weight for this skirt, but nothing too heavy as it would make the pleats too thick. Deer and Doe recommends lightweight twill, linen, denim, chambray or cotton sateen but many people have had beautiful results with cotton poplin, stretch suiting and brocade. It will look great with most fabric patterns, but the structured lines of the skirt means it suits bold patterns or color blocking. Red W Sews made this skirt with brocade, perfect for parties. You can create this look with metallic woven brocade. Number nine is the cardamom dress, a shirt dress with a smocked waist, a bib front and pockets. Version A has long sleeves and version B is sleeveless. It is rated 4 out of 5 for advanced sewers. For this pattern, I would go for a light fluid woven fabric like this goes for a summery drapey dress or go for a slightly more structured look with cotton poplin. However, avoid heavy weight fabric as it will interfere with a smocked waist. Deer and Doe recommends batiste, cotton sateen and viscose. This dress works really well with small patterns like this Art Gallery Fabrics Spirited Cotton Poplin. Sheer Stitchery has used piping to make the bib feature of the pattern really stand out. The eighth most popular Deer and Doe pattern is the Ruglis dress. It is a sundress with an elasticated waistband, bias cut bodice and cap sleeves. Version A has a neck bow while version B has a mock button front. It is rated 3 out of 5 for intermediate sewers. A few reviews have mentioned the bust arc can be a little high and the skirt is a touch too short for some people, which I think is worth keeping in mind the first time you make this dress. The Wrigley's dress works well with lightweight woven fabric that still has some structure. Deer and Doe recommends poplin, chambray, batiste and Swiss dot. This dress has a very sweet silhouette with a bit of a retro twist, like this dress made by the Teacup Mouse. You can use this Liberty London Tana cotton lawn to create a similar feeling. Or you can make the dress more modern with a mock button front or plain fabric. The full skirt and elasticated waist makes this dress a good option for maternity sewing and turning the mock button front into a real button front can make it ideal for breastfeeding. Number seven is the Opium Coat, a fully lined swing coat with raglan sleeves and crossover welt pockets. Version A closes with snaps, while version B has a belt. This pattern is not for the faint-hearted, with reviewers commenting that preparing the pieces is hard and sewing the welt pocket is difficult but satisfying. It is rated 5 out of 5 for expert sewers, but many reviews have said it is ideal for beginner coat makers and the instructions are good. Being a coat, of course, you should use non-stretch coating. Deer and Doe recommends Melton Wool, Boiled Wool, Lodin and Wool Garbadine. Wool is of course the best, but don't be shy of wool blends, which can be much more affordable, especially when making your first coat. This coat made by Silk Stitch is a classic in Lady McElroy Donegal Tweed coating. Deer and Doe recommends silk or rayon for the lining, like the Robert Kaufman Avanti Bamberg rayon lining. Or go bold like Wanda Stitch with the Armania Chameurs silk satin in fuchsia. The Zephyr dress is the sixth most popular Deer and Doe pattern. It is a sleeveless dress with princess seams and a skater skirt. Version A has a crew neck, version B has a V neck, and version C is a crew neck crop top with a separate skater skirt. But some reviews have said the crop top is very short. Rated 2 out of 5, this pattern is for beginner sewers and is a good place to start for sewing knits. It is a knit dress, making it quite forgiving in the fitting department, but you will need fabric with at least 40% elasticity and good recovery. Deer and Doe recommends medium weight knits such as Ponte, Neoprene, Scuba and Cotton Elastane. Morven has used Ponte Roma double knit to make this stunning dress and the bold stitcher has used John Caldor Colotta Stretch Velvet Knit to make a dressy version of the Zephyr perfect for going out. Coming in at number 5, the Briere shirt is a tunic length button up shirt with a cinched waist, flat collar, cuffs and a back yoke. Version A has long sleeves with a gathered cuff and version B is sleeveless. Sewing a shirt for the first time can be daunting and some reviews have said the instructions for the Briere shirt could be more detailed. 
but that the flat collar is easier to sew than a traditional collar. This pattern is rated 3 out of 5 for intermediate sewers. This pattern works well with structured woven lightweight fabrics such as shirting and flannel. Dierando recommends batiste, cotton sateen, chambray and linen for this shirt. I think this shirt looks particularly stunning made up in checks and flannel plaid fabric such as Red W Sews shirt which you can recreate using this cotton shirting fabric or use Robert Kaufman Durango cotton flannel for a warm colourful shirt, perfect for winter and Minerva has kits so you can recreate Sheer Stitchery's shirt made in brushed cotton royal stuart. The fourth most popular deer and doe pattern is the Magnolia dress, a faux wrap dress with a waistband and bow in the back. Version A is maxi length with a slit, a deep v-neck and long sleeves. Version B has a regular wrap neckline, knee length skirt and butterfly sleeves. This pattern is rated 3 out of 5 for intermediate sewers. The Magnolia dress works best with woven fabric with drape such as viscose twill, and Deer and Doe recommends batiste, rayon twill or crepe, and cotton voile. Small and large florals work equally well for this dress, like this Lady McElroy viscose chalet, or Copy Bird and Bobbin's beautiful dress with Liberty London decadent blooms Tana cotton lawn. Number three is the Melor shirt, a button-up shirt with drop shoulders and front pockets. Version A has long sleeves with cuffs and a rounded collar. Version B has short cuff sleeves and a band collar. This pattern is rated as 4 out of 5 for advanced sewers. Like the Briere shirt, the Melor works well with structured woven lightweight fabrics such as shirting, but it also suits fabric with more movement to make a more relaxed and elegant shirt. Deer and Doe recommends fabrics such as batiste, cotton sateen, viscose, silk and flannel. Because of the simple relaxed fit of the shirt, it works well with geometric fabrics like this Lady McElroy Visco Shelley, made by Love Lucy, or novelty and abstract fabrics like this shirt by Amy Rombaja in Marley Cotton Lawn, also from Lady McElroy. And for winter, why not go for the long sleeve version in this Robert Kaufman brushed cotton flannel. I had a tough time deciding between these last two patterns, but coming in at number two is the Sirocco jumpsuit. The Sirocco is a jumpsuit with a faux wrap top, short sleeves, pleated pants and pockets. Version A has tapered trouser legs and version B is short. This pattern is rated 3 out of 5 for intermediate sewers. This pattern has received lots of praise, but most people have had to do some kind of alteration, whether it is lengthening the bodice or adding a zip. This is just the nature of a jumpsuit, but where finding a ready-to-wear jumpsuit that fits may be an impossibility for some, making your own means you can tailor it to fit you perfectly. So my suggestion is to read other people's reviews and come armed and ready to make some adjustments. This pattern requires knit fabric with good recovery and at least 60% stretch, and make sure the fabric has some weight to it. Deer and Doe recommend medium weight jersey or interlock knit, such as cotton, rayon and wool, containing elastane. Pinsy Coup de Truc used this soft Ponty Roma double knit in Forest to make this beautiful wide leg jumpsuit, while Intensely Distracted made a classic in black. Scuba is also great for this pattern, and you can copy It Is Josie's look with a John Caldor Fan Scuba crepe knit. The Sirocco is also good for naturalistic patterns. Use this floral Lady McElroy Ponty Roma double knit for a cute romper, or go bold with the John Caldor Rossi Viscose jersey knit in Tomato. And the most popular Deer and Doe pattern on the Minerva website is the Mio Sutis dress. This pattern is an oversized shirt dress with a gathered skirt. Version A has sleeve ruffles and a tiered skirt, while version B has short sleeves. This pattern is rated as 3 out of 5 for intermediate sewers. Because there are just so many good reviews of this dress, there are also some comments I'd like to mention. Quite a few people said there was a lot of gathering involved but most people didn't need to make many alterations to the dress. An easy alteration is to add waist ties to add definition to the waist. Some people find the dress a bit too short, so just keep that in mind. This dress does best with lightweight woven fabrics, like seersucker or cotton lawn, and Deer and Doe recommends chambray, rayon twill, batiste, double gauze, and lightweight cotton sateen for this pattern. The Mio Sutis looks great with small patterns and florals. Nine to Stitch made a casual Mio Sutis dress using a vibrant green viscose chalet. This dress also exhibits textures wonderfully. Like this peach dress in the Merchant and Mills e Lawn did 100% linen by Linen Bloom Heirloom. Or if peach isn't your color, you could use the Merchant and Mills Japanese cotton seersucker in mustard. 
I also love the simplicity of pins and needles and Z dress using the Atelier Brunette Stardust Double Gauze. What did you think of the top 10 most popular Dirando patterns on the Minerva website? Did I get it right? What's your favorite pattern? Let me know in the comments below. You can also save this video, all products, posts and hashtags on Minerva so you can find it later. To do so, you need to make a Minerva account for free and you'll get a discount for your next purchase. And if you want to buy any of the fabrics or patterns featured in this video, you can find them all on Minerva. There were so many more beautiful makes people have posted for each pattern, so I strongly advise you go and have a look at all of them. And if I've inspired you to make any of the patterns in this video, you can post about it on your Minerva account. If you have any questions, leave a comment and don't forget to follow Minerva to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.